Ankle sprains are the, the most common injury that happen in people who exercise or participate in sport. And a lot of people think that oh, as long as I can walk or even get back to running um, without a limp, that they don't have a long-standing problem. But once you've had one sprain, you're, you're very likely to have another. Balance training is important because it improves the coordination of the muscles that support the ankle. We start with the short foot exercise. This exercise stabilizes the many bones of the foot, providing a stable base of support for balanced training exercises. With the foot flat on the ground, the ball of the big toe is pushed into the floor and then pulled back towards the heel. The muscles in the arch of the foot should be contracted to pull the big toe towards the heel. It's important to keep the toes straight and not curled up during this exercise so that only the muscles in the arch are used to cause the movement. The leg that she wants to work is going to be the leg that, that she stands on. I'm going to have her look up as she does that and just focus on a, a point on the wall. To make it harder, what we can do is we can adjust the arm position so we can have her take her arms and put them across the chest. And we can also take vision away. And now we're going to rely more on the information that's coming from the ankle joint itself in order to maintain the balance. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to add an unstable surface underneath the foot. So this is just about a two inch thick foam pad. We're going to set right here. So again, she's going to start off with her arms at her side and with her eyes open. Once she's really comfortable doing that, then we can change the arm position. Good. And then we can take vision away as well. So we want to start the exercises for about 10 seconds at a time and then just gradually um, make them longer and longer as you get better. If your foot touches down, that's fine. Just start going again. The next group of exercises we're going to do are called T-band kicks, and we just use a, a piece of rubber tubing, and we just need to tie it to one end to an immovable object, and then we take the other end and just loop it around the foot. And then you're just going to pull the tubing, we'll start off just straight back. We can progress these exercises the, the exact same way. We can change the arm position, we can take vision away, we can also have them do it on an unstable surface as well. So you want to keep the foot on the ground that you're, you're trying to improve your balance on, and then you're going to reach in a slow and controlled motion with the opposite limb. And what you want to do is do that nice and slow so that it really forces you to keep your balance on the foot that's on the ground. Because you are doing exercises to challenge your balance, you want to make sure that you do it in a safe environment, you know, not doing it places where there's lots of you know, sharp edges on coffee tables. If the exercises are painful or they cause pain afterwards, then you know that you're working too hard. 